Hi, welcome to Coding Interview Tutorial. Today I'm going to cover how to solve top k frequent numbers in a list. Let's suppose you are rolling a six-sided dice and put the result in a list and we want to have the top k frequent numbers from your result. For example, let's say you're playing this dice game and your uh, result from playing dice, like you rolled the dice and the result was 3, rolled the dice and the number was 2, and 3, 1, 2, 5, 3, 6, 2, 4. In this case, you have the 3 times of 3 and 3 times of 2, right? So if k was 2, that means we want the top 2 frequent numbers, you will return like 2 and 3. That's the requirement of this problem. Uh, the objective of this problem is to find if you are familiar with the dictionary or sorting. Uh, for example, the first approach of this one is going to be using the dictionary and the sorting. The time complexity of this one is going to be n log n because you involve the merge sort or the quick sort and this takes like n log n which I'm not going to use in this uh, video tutorial. I'm going to use dictionary plus iteration plus uh, iteration of dictionary uh, k times. In this case, the time complexity is going to be k multiplied by n. And since it is dice, the dice has six sides, right? So k, the worst case is six, and the six is a constant number, so it's similar to order n. So in this video, I'm going to use the approach tool here and I will show you how we can implement here. Okay, so I'm going to implement one function here, top k frequent number. I'm going to get the nums and the k. Nums is the result from your dice game and the k will be the, the most top k frequent number. Okay, first what we need to do is to create a dictionary. The dictionary is going to be num map here. I'm going to create a dictionary for dice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And uh, I'm going to initialize this one as 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0. So we initialize this dictionary and we want to put these values with uh, our dice game result. So we need a full loop here for num in nums. And we will increase the number num map the key is the num here right num increase uh, by one so if the number uh, was the result of the dice game we just easily increase the number here for example if we use this example one 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 two two also one 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 two two something like this okay this is it uh, so now our dictionary has the value from our input so let's create a value, return value here, and let's put the return value from this while loop while k is greater than 0. Uh, I'm going to explain why we have this k is greater than 0 in the while. So firstly, we need max frequent as 0 and the max key as 0 because we want to compare this max value with current um, maps keys value and see if this value, if this uh, dictionary's value is greater than this max frequency, then we will easily replace these values. Uh, how to do it? I'm going to have the for loop here for key in num map. And if, if num map uh, key, so the this key's value is greater than the max frequency, as I just said. Then I just replace this value. Frequent is going to be the num map key, the value of this key, and the max key uh, is going to be current key. Okay? And we just replace we just uh, append this max key to the return value. And importantly we need to delete num map max key. And then k minus one because let me explain this one what's happening here so let's say we have the dictionary like this and we have the 2 as 3 3 as 3 and the other numbers and 1 here from the first example of this one right from first example of this one so from here because the last number of the max frequency was 2 
So we have the two in here, red append uh, max key. The max key was two. And we want to delete this one and uh, k minus one. So k was originally two, now k is one. And the same iteration, now this program will choose three here, right? So we put the three in the return value and has four values and the k minus one now k is zero so it will go out from the while loop so after this while loop we just basically return lit here okay so see how it's working so i'm going to exactly use this example here and the k is two in our function name is top k free content number this one and print this one then it should return 2 and 3 which is exactly our expectation here what if we use this example here with k is 3 so I'm going to replace this one and k is 3 then the result is 1 2 3 which is exactly the same with this example okay when you practice yourself, you can go to my GitHub website and uh, download, you can practice yourself. And as I said before, the time complexity is going to be very similar to order n. And the space complexity is just order 6 plus k plus 2 because 6 is from the dictionary. Uh, k is from the, the returning list. And uh, 2 is from the, the function has two temporary variables to store max frequency, frequency and the max key. Okay, thank you very much and I will see you on the next video.